It's really appropriate that the first person to receive this award is my father's longtime ally and dear friend, Lois DeBerry. Yeah. Lois. Lois could not be with us here tonight due to an unavoidable conflict. Lois was the first African American woman to be elected from Memphis. She has been instrumental in forming and serving in the national as well as the Tennessee State Black Caucus of State Legislators. She's been a long advocate of equality in education, for women's rights, for providing quality, accessible, affordable health care for all. And she is well known for her advocacy of economic development plans for our entire state. As one of the most influential members of our state party, she had the distinct honor of seconding the nomination of Al Gore as Vice President of the United States. But let me tell you from my own perspective why I think this award is so fitting for Lois. When my father first got elected to the legislature in 1968, he was followed four years later by Lois, whose election was in 1972. Now, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know my father was from a rural background, the son of sharecroppers, who had had very little exposure to urban issues. One thing, one thing my father always did very well, though, and that is he knew how to listen. And Lois DeBerry was an advocate for women and the working poor in both our rural as well as our urban areas. Lois expanded Ned McWhorter's horizon to understand the issues that face our urban areas. I think Dad had a pretty good grasp on what was happening in rural Tennessee, but Lois broadened his knowledge about all areas of our state so that Ned McWhorter became a highly effective speaker and then later governor. A speaker with the vision about how to help improve the quality of life for Tennesseans, whether they were from rural areas or urban areas, black or white, people of all walks of life. Through her advocacy, she became Ned McWhorter's heart a heart filled with the desire to make things better. They became best friends, and Dad always knew that he could count on Lois to tell him the truth no matter what the topic was. The story goes, as Lois got into the legislature, that she was told that this rural, white, ultra-conservative legislator, Ed McWhorter, would be very dismissive of this African-American woman from the city. So Lois, determined she was going to have Dad's attention, walked into his office, introduced herself, sat down in his lap, and got nose to nose with him. <laughs> you know, it's hard to be dismissive of someone in your lap. <laughs> that sums up Lois DeBerry to a T. She will always find a way to advocate for the causes that she stands for. Lois, we love you. We're sorry you can't be with us tonight. Our state is much better for your continued service. You're a pillar of the values of our party. You're a pillar of the values of your church. And it is my deep honor and distinction to be able to present this award for Lois tonight. I understand Craig uh, Fitzhugh is going to accept it for her. And it's a, uh, if I can get it out of this container, it's a beautiful crystal with uh, engraved with a cup of coffee and four vanilla wafers. <laughs>